Bishop Patrick Harold Wood and Seed, you here, and I'm sounding the alarm. I'm sounding the alarm. What alarm are you sounding, preacher? I'm glad you asked. The Eighth Holy Convocation of North Carolina Third Ecclesiastical Jurisdiction is about to begin. It's going to be August the 2nd through the 4th, and I'm excited about these three great nights. Our theme is the sufficiency of God's strength. Oh, we serve a God whose strength is made perfect in our weakness. I'm not sufficient in uh, in and of myself, my friends, and you are not of yourself, but our sufficiency is of God. And I tell you, the God of the Bible is going to keep us strong and moving forward in the things of God. I have some powerful, powerful preachers who are going to be ministering the word of the Lord on Wednesday night. My own classmate, Bishop Don Shelby, oh, from Southwest Michigan, uh, the fifth jurisdiction, he is going to be ministering the word of the Lord here. But before him, on Wednesday during the day session, you know, prayer starts at 930, but during the day session, our own, the elder William Cooper, my superintendent, will be preaching the day session on Wednesday, and I'm asking everyone to be in place on Wednesday. Listen, we only have three nights. Three days and three nights. If you miss one day, you've missed a third of the meeting. You miss two days, you miss two thirds of the meeting. You miss three days, you've missed the whole meeting. Why only three days? Because I believe that pastors need to have time to pastor their churches. So we're going to set aside three days for our whole, our eighth holy convocation and God is going to bless us real good on Thursday night on Thursday night we're going to have a powerful powerful speaker evangelist Naomi K Thomas uh, from the Virginia and she is going to minister the word of the Lord she's from New Community Temple Church of God in Christ and God is going to use this woman of God in a mighty way and and our 10 a.m. speaker will be District Missionary Ebony Coley. And we're excited about hearing from District Missionary Coley. And of course, on Thursday, we're going to honor our supervisor, the one and only Supervisor Beverly DeJanae. What a mighty woman of God she is. It's going to be a powerful service on Thursday morning at 10 a.m. Acts 6-3, Men's of Honest Report. Fear with the Holy Ghost and with wisdom will take place. Look at this. Uh, take down so God can stand up. And Elder, Elder Anthony Wilson is the president of our men's department. He's the chairman. And we're going to meet at 10. And it's going to be an awesome time on Thursday morning with the men. I'll be doing a QA, and a getting a chance to sit and talk with the brothers. And I'm so excited about that. And on Thursday evening at 6 p.m., we're going to have our pastors and elders council meeting and uh, our chairman, Superintendent William H. Cooper II will be in charge. And we're looking for all of the elders, all of the pastors to, to be in place during our council session. And on uh, Friday, yours truly, uh, uh, we'll be preaching on Friday night, but Friday morning during our day session, our very own chief of staff, Superintendent Tommy Eugene Quick, will be delivering the Friday uh, morning message and after the morning service, our very own first assistant, the mighty Stone, uh, Superintendent Christopher Stone, will be our speaker at our luncheon. And God is going to bless us. Listen to the theme of the luncheon, strength, waxing valiant in fight. And uh, we're going to be blessed by the ministry of Superintendent Stone. And we will come back on Friday night and yours truly, will deliver the evenings at dress. And guess what? Our convocation will come to a conclusion at that time. Three days, I'm sounding the alarm, three days of church, three days of learning, three days of impartation, three days of investing in our souls, three days of investing in our hearts and in our spirits. And I want every one of you to be here at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ for the eighth 
Holy Convocation, the eighth annual Holy Convocation of North Carolina third ecclesiastical jurisdiction. I'll see you here at the upper room. Church of God in Christ, which is the headquarters of North Carolina 3rd Ecclesiastical Jurisdiction. Now make it a great day.